Okay, so here's a quick demonstration of the Fish Hunter sonar. So to start off with, we'll click on our demo sonar here, and that'll bring us to our main sonar output. Now what we're seeing here in blue is the water column. At the top here is, uh, in orange, is the water surface where your fish hunter would be sitting. And at the bottom here is our bottom contour. Now this scale on the right hand side here is important because something is showing up in the water column here. And because of this scale, we know that's at about 10 feet of water. Our total water depth is at the bottom here and about 20 feet of water. And our water surface temperature is up here at the top. We're at 62.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if you want a much more simplified view of the sonar, you can switch to what we call fish view. We're currently in raw data mode and to switch to fish view mode, click on this settings icon here and that brings us into our sonar settings. We can go from raw data mode to fish view mode. The scale we were talking about earlier, you can change that from the right hand side to the left hand side if you want. And if you like to change your weights and measures from imperial to metric, you can go ahead and do that. For now, we'll stay in imperial and we'll go back. And now we're seeing our sonar output in the fish view mode. So basically what this is, is our water column is all in black. The bottom contour is in this orangish yellow color here. And anything showing up in the water column here will show up as a fish icon. And you can see one right there. So that's showing us something in the water column. Might be a fish, might not be, but in fish view mode, it's always going to show up as a fish. So let's go back to raw data mode for now. And we'll click on raw data mode. And we'll click on done. Okay, so aside from showing you some great sonar imagery here, the Fish Hunter app has some extras on the top here. The first one being the take a photo option. Now what that allows us to do is if we want to take a photo of our sonar from this point or a screenshot, we can just hit on take photo and now we have saved a photo of, our, of that sonar. Now the other cool feature is our drop pin. So let's say for instance this is a great fishing spot, you're having a lot of luck here catching lots of great fish and you want to save this location so you don't forget about it. You hit drop pin. Now the menu comes up and asks you if you're sure you want to drop a pin for this spot. We'll click yes. And then it asks, would you like to save an image of the sonar for this pin? So we'll do that as well. And then our pin has been saved and we'll come to the edit pin menu. Now what we can do here is, as you can see at the top, our image of the sonar has been saved to that pin. We, down below we can choose what type of pin this is. So for this one we're going to call it a fishing spot. If you scroll down, you can add some notes to that pin. You can set a location name for that pin. Now, this is a good idea to do that. So we'll call this one, uh, just for this demo, we'll call it Great Spot. So we'll just type in Great Spot, and we'll submit. And then we go down here, and we can update the pin. So we'll click on Update Pin. Now, what that's done is saved that location and that sonar imagery into the map section. So to leave the sonar screen, we'll click on the X, and then down at the bottom here, you'll see we have maps. And we'll click on maps, and then you may have to refresh your map to make the pin show up. So at the top right hand corner, we'll hit refresh, and there you go. That pin we just created now shows up on our map. If we click on that pin, it gives us all our information. We can click on this arrow here uh, to get in, even into more information and do some further editing if we need to. And we'll click on back, and We'll click on our map and also you can zoom in on your map here if you want to get a closer view of where that pin is. You can keep zooming right in and you'll see that I created this pin right on a little lake here. And that's how you create a pin uh, from the sonar menu and it will add your pin right into your map section. And now that we're back at our main sonar settings screen, there's a few more things we can show you. Uh, we were currently seeing our sonar on high speed but you can change that from low or to medium. We'll go back to high speed. If you need any help with your sonar unit, you can find that down here in the help panel. And at the top here, we have a history. Now what this would do is if you tapped on that, any sonar unit you had connected, it would give you a 30 second history playback, which is pretty cool. And we'll just close out of that. And if you want to look at your sonar in landscape mode, you just click on this button there. And now you're seeing your sonar output in a landscape mode. And there's your simple demonstration of how the fish hunter sonar works.